Hello everybody, today I'm talking about lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Uh, actually the full moon when the eclipse takes place, moon is in Scorpio, however Ketu is in Libra. Uh, so uh, they are about three degrees apart. So this is a full lunar eclipse and very dramatic as it is the last one of the Scorpio uh, Taurus axis. Let us explore. Hello, I'm Camilla Sutton and we are talking lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. So uh, lunar eclipse in Scorpio is on 15th night, uh, 16th morning. It is actually, if you take uh, UTC, Universal uh, Standard Time, uh, you see that um, uh, it is at 4.11 a.m. Here in California, it is uh, 8, uh, 11 at night. Uh, so uh, that means it will be visible here as well. But all the places where that time at 4, 11 and uh, the, it is night or just before uh, sunrise, then those areas, the eclipse is going to be visible. Uh, the uh, main things you could see all of America's, uh, Europe, uh, and uh, those Africa, those are the main areas that you can see this eclipse from. Uh, now, you know, the eclipse is at one degree of Scorpio. So lunar eclipse always happens when it is full moon. And moon is one degree Scorpio, sun is one degree Taurus. Whereas Rahu Ketu have moved backwards. Rahu is in Aries, Ketu is in Libra. But the distance between Ketu and the moon uh, is less than three degrees. So uh, therefore, you know, the uh, signs are more man-made or astrological junctions. But if you look at the distance, uh, it's not that far. And therefore, uh, the eclipse uh, degree is always decided where sun, moon are not by where Rahu Ketu is, because they are the ones who are getting eclipsed. So uh, basically anybody who has uh, planets placed at uh, one degree of uh, Scorpio, then they are experiencing this eclipse most intensely. But Ketu at this stage is 28 degrees of uh, Libra. So you could also experience at about five degrees of orb uh, is usually where the eclipse is at the most intense. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, lunar eclipses, all of us will feel the lunar eclipse. Firstly, the moon is eclipsed, therefore our mind, our thinking, our ideas, they are not totally uh, stable. We feel unsettled. Sometimes, you know, you feel some strange type of energy that you're experiencing. And uh, so it is, um, uh, you know, uh, unsettled. So general idea is not to make any decision during that time. Uh, as the eclipse is at night, usually it's the day before you start feeling these energies. So let's say 15th of May, uh, you will start feeling these energies. And by 16th, uh, it is over. Often around eclipses, people make... Uh, uh, you know, unexpected decisions, there is a uh, impulsive action and uh, also the lunar eclipse always reveals something. Uh, sometimes, you know, there's some big scandal that gets revealed, sometimes some political issue comes out in the open. Uh, but as this is the last eclipse of Scorpio, I feel that it is much more intense for all of us because uh, it is, uh, you know, ending that uh, Taurus Scorpio energy and, uh, you know, the Rahu and the uh, Taurus eclipses are over and the residue, what is left over, uh, this is the last eclipse of Scorpio uh, for the next seven, eight years. There'll be again the eclipses there, but for the time being, uh, 
And uh, Scorpio being very secretive, very intense, very transformative, uh, that means that we don't know uh, what uh, can uh, be revealed during this time. So uh, what we have to be uh, conscious of all of us is that we are taking uh, general usual uh, restraint, uh, usual not starting anything new, not uh, keeping an overly stressful day. If you can think of being more uh, calm and doing something spiritual during this day. But obviously I realize that there is work and uh, things happening. So uh, maybe you can't avoid that. The lunar eclipse begins uh, on 15th, 16th May, uh, the night of 15th, 16th May uh, at one degree of Scorpio. The eclipse begins at 1.32 UTC, uh, universal time, and it will be total at 4.11 UTC, ends at 6.50 UTC. Uh, so the uh, intensity of the eclipse at 4.11, depending on where you are in the world, uh, if it is night at 4.11 UTC, which is similar to uh, GMT time, then the eclipse is visible for you. Now, because the eclipse is at night, so what you could think is that not to have any nighttime program, uh, to avoid going out on that night and to just stay at home, do the usual stuff. What happens is that if, uh, you know, um, you go out because the energy is disturbed. Uh, you don't know uh, other people's reaction to the energy. That is what it is, a big crowd you should avoid. And even at home, if some things are brewing or some thought process is happening, and you know that this is an eclipse day, uh, and so 15th and uh, by 16th, things will be clearer. Uh, but you know that it is an eclipse day, then uh, you are being uh, just uh, restrained about what you're doing. It doesn't matter what sign you are and what is your uh, ascendant or moon sign. It is affecting all of us. And therefore, these are uh, energies that... Uh, override just sign position everything uh, so it is just important and lunar eclipse has a, a quick uh, turnaround so that is the most important thing that it's not going to wait like a solar eclipse uh, aspects keep on happening for some time lunar eclipse will be within the day or two you know what it is going to uh, impact to you so the key factor is of course if you have uh, uh, your birthday, 15th, 16th, if you have your uh, uh, sun, moon at uh, one degree of Scorpio, uh, then ascendant at one degree of Scorpio, then that means that that is uh, the one that is going to impact the most. And uh, mostly the lunar eclipse uh, is uh, bringing some change. And, you know, these eclipses have been happening uh, in Taurus, Scorpio for um uh, 18 months. So this is like the end of it. So that means some unfinished business uh, can uh, suddenly we can think, oh, this is unfinished. We must do it now. Whereas better to wait till later. But people who are unaware can sometimes, uh, you know, there's like a push to uh, decide things. And we always watch uh, what is happening around the world. And often the eclipses also uh, connect with the nature, you know, there can be uh, some natural uh, seasonal activity. So earthquakes, hurricanes, uh, you know, volcanic activity, that is another thing to watch out for. Keep that day simple, uh, know that the energy is disturbed and make any decision accordingly. All the best. Thank you very much.